morning with uh, Samuel Ponce uh, from Oxford with us about the latest development of EPW. Thank you so much. Thank you for the introduction. So I did work with uh, Christian Justino at the Oxford University. It's a pleasure for me to meet uh, the fundamental software developer community. And I'll, I'll basically present the uh, EPW uh, software. So EPW software is an electron component code that has uh, one interpolation. So we rely on electron component matrix elements that are produced by quantum XOR. And the EPW code then interpolates them on a tensor phase one or two point uh, mesh. So we compute electron and phonon line width. Uh, it can be used to compute uh, top of motion normalization, uh, top of the dependence of uh, the uh, quantity. It's used to compute the yes, but that function, um, support conducting properties, and some transport properties. So, I rely actually on some uh, quantum extras of the but uh, not modify any of them. So, it's actually extremely easy to um, take a look at the folder. <laughs> Which has kind of the same structure as the existing uh, folders. And so both basically rely and pull modules and files from uh, modules, the phonon, the EW folder, the IT library. And this has been this uh, test suite that has been created by um, Philip Ostega. And we all have a, a test farm. And so we, um, uh, we plan to move to, to move the EW code inside the Expo, maybe. We, we transfer some of the tests into this uh, test suite. So, then some of the recent uh, development in EPW. So, EPW is now fully compatible with the latest uh, Expresso uh, trunk and also the new uh, one year IT library. And it's uh, optimized and has been cleaned uh, quickly. Um, also, transversal symmetry has been added. Um, there are divergences that have been presented. It's also um, slightly good. Um, we have work on including the spin orbit uh, and we plan to release the EW software in the following two to six uh, weeks, so actually very soon. Um, uh, so far, we only have uh, non conserving uh, pseudo potential that is uh, implemented, but we, we really plan to also support the solution. Uh, with no G vector parallelization, which means that so far we can only use a uh, point parallelization. We can only uh, other functional except LDA and GDA, or no uh, hybrid functionals, but basically uh, limitations that are inherited from the foreign code. And for GFPT plus U, which is also based on the foreign code. Uh, the, the speed up uh, of the code, so if you compare the uh, old EPW3 that was uh, interfaced with quantum extraction of 4.0.1, dot uh, three. Uh, to the new EPW4 <laughs> interface with the latest um, quantum expressor, uh, almost latest quantum expressor uh, package. So, uh, at speed, the, the, the speed up in the time in, in, in through those uh, basically four categories. So the first one is at the quantum expressor level with the forum code. Um, so, this is simply to, to compute the Electron quantum matrix element on a core behavior using symmetry, so on a irreducible resolution of Q. Um, and those AKT are basically EPW uh, calculations. So we told, we read those uh, DBSTF files. We unfold the um, DBSTF file onto uh, a coarse uh, cube. Then one interpolation to go to real space, which is very, very fast. And which is the, the most time consuming step, we go from the real space to um, back to the fine tuning cube unit. And of course, the fine is the, the longer the, the calculation. And so, some of the optimization work has been done to this last, uh, in the, the last interpolation step. So, if the total uh, time taken by EW, you can see that there is a significant speed up. The calculation um, focus the, the effort actually on the last. Because this is the most time one. So it's showing in dash um, the uh, pattern of the last interpolation step from the real space to the um, fine <coughs> K point grade. 
you can see that um, this was the, the previous uh, parallelization in, in PW3. And the new version of PW, we have a much better uh, scale. Um, but you can see that for the total uh, scaling of the code, which includes also the uh, unfolding, uh, you see that this, this is uh, much worse. And the reason why is because I worked a lot on that part. And in that part, um, actually, some of the parts are done in sequential. So if we increase the, the number of CPUs, it will help us. So since this is not the most time consuming part of the version, we focus first on that. But in the future, we really want to also improve the unfolding. We don't have this um, you know, decrease of the utilization. Uh, so, here is uh, now tested using uh, the software Billbot for two applications. Um, so, tight to build. So, when you uh, to be uh, SVN uh, repository, it will trigger um, a series of um, um, test series. So, write the code and then transfer from that. Uh, we have our own um, small test farm in, in Oxford, which is uh, made of four uh, plates, so host plates. So two machines, one of the one and one, uh, this is the desktop computer that uh, I the scavenge. Uh, we will have maybe a Mac uh, test farm. And um, so the, um, the different uh, slates that we, that we test on this uh, machine, so we're testing different OS. We're testing different compilers, different flags, um, different uh, population uh, libraries, so OpenMPI, MPitch, Intel MPI. Um, we also test different uh, libraries for a uh, Mac, um, um, so MPL, uh, FFTW, um, so we have Libra uh, routines, so we test those. We have uh, an active compiler, which will be helpful to um, find some of the bugs and uh, ready to actually uh, uh, use it to also test some of Expresso and maybe find some some bugs or some um, things that are uh, populated by this uh, compiler. Uh, we try to make it as user friendly as possible. So, uh, EPW has a dedicated website uh, where you can find tutorial, tests, documentation, theory. Um, we try to actually make video tutorials. Would be uh, screen recording plus sound, and I think that this will be a good entry point for um, people that want to start using the code. So they look like this uh, so far. So we have the different uh, um, uh, 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 We have now a forum where the uh, user can ask a question on top of the quantum uh, express of English. Um, so here I have just listed uh, 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 some of the, um, the I mean, most of the routine that W depend on. So from the modules file, um, we use uh, of course symmetry from PW and from the phone code, uh, from the phone code, noticeably the uh, set small group of Q that I have under yesterday that was not part of the, the set. Uh, but I also on the one year ninety um that uh, they provide. Uh, so quickly a few examples of quantity that you can compute using uh, W. So you can compute the uh, electron line width or, or, or line just using the um, meta part of the self energy on the then uh, K and Q point grid. Um, also compute the equivalency with the phonon, so the imaginary part of the phone self energy. And use the uh, quantity, so here it's for uh, those diamonds, so it's E those uh, diamonds. Okay. You compute the, the spectral function in those um, self energy. Which is something like this. So the family level is shifted down for uh, the doping and gives you the different uh, spectral function. And here I'm just showing uh, different numbers of different uh, broadening parameters. Uh, example is uh, silicon uh, scattering in this case. So you look, this is the electronic band structure, the phone band structure. You can look, for example, at the, uh, at the condition band uh, and it looks uh, something like this. So it has now uh, published by
uh, uh, this uh, gallium nitride uh, uh, test case where you um, have this uh, single list of polar uh, semiconductor. So the standard extrapolation, um, because the electron quantum mass experiment for polarity gives us as one Q for small Q. And the one year, the standard one year interpolation will simply interpolate to um, gamma zero. But actually, divergence is physical, so we want to have legal divergence. And the way to do it is also very similar to the uh, for sometimes. So you just split the G to a, a um, short range and a long range part. You just track the long range part to the OG. <coughs> then you do the one year interpolation. You interpolate back into the fine grid. And then you re add by hand at the end. The analytic long range uh, part, which will give you the point, so the correct one of the Q versions of this uh, electron quantum mass experiment. So, um, doped graphene, so this is basically um, related to superconducting uh, property. So, the um, uh, Elias bus spectral function, here you can see the um, superconducting gap, and uh, by plotting the variation of the superconducting gap with temperature. We can deduce the uh, KLPT. Um, this is the behavior uh, of the KW uh, curve. So, in the current version of KW is fully compatible with uh, quantum expressor, the latest version of quantum expressor, and when you need uh, The code is well tested on different hardware and compilers uh, with batteries. Uh, been optimized, and new features have been uh, implemented. In the future, we would like to Add G vector polarization, uh, ultra soft for sure, maybe PW. Um, we'd like to expand maybe a bit the, the test form, which uh, and possible uh, IBM, uh, but this is extremely expensive and difficult to find a player who could have um, a small um, subcluster to, to find a test form on. Um, we'd like to add some new features that mostly related to transport and connectivity. Uh, I acknowledge um, Carla Vesley and Roxanne Jin, who also worked on this new version of W and you for you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> So why don't we use a G-vector parallelization to use the data in all these models? So it wouldn't be, so this means that you your focus is to need the additional use of things that are already in the Yes, so this is mainly for historical analysis. It has not been implemented at the beginning. Um, yeah, the formal reason why not to use the G-vector parallelization. Um, no, why not use some within R. Um, some are new, like for example, there's this, this, um, this sorting of output something that we do that we don't take directly from uh, W, but that we have within ourselves. And this is not the vector file, but that's one of the things that we like to do. Or we would maybe use something that is. But uh, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I mean, clearly there is no formal reason to one of the points in theory um, to recognize is that some of the data routine that we developed are not so far as we done. So it's not formally a problem. Okay, then, since we've done the parallelization, the main press of LSD, and then we go on. One of the of the, I mean, one what is uh, if you use things of uh, comma, then uh, optimization of uh, common routine, and then you can do that. You use uh, something that is parallel already, okay, okay, you right. don't need so to parallelize yourself, so right? So, the answer is that we don't think it's an obvious advantage, then what is the reason why you are oh, done? The reason why you are Sorry, no. Yeah. Only sorry. No, no. Not that you need to know that I'm not in those problems. And this is my 
So our next thing that we should implement in the general routines that we will attend to using them or uh, simply uh, open them. Uh, so, yes, um, the main reason is historical and the fact that some of the routine are duplicated and then not improved. The plan actually is to get rid of those and use uh, the routine, so this is then why some of the routines that are realized in W are not realized because it should be.